Hi guys. One of my friends from YouTube asked a question and I thought it was very important to share this question with you. He wanted to buy an oscilloscope and the oscilloscope was probably used and he didn't know if the oscilloscope has been hacked or not to increase the bedwing. So the answer was the amount of megahertz should be the same from the label. But also one advice to buy equipment is like when you buy a car. You inspect the car all over and break the inspection, watch the seller on the face and ask what's wrong with the car. If the guy says, oh, there's nothing wrong with it, then ask him again, why are you for selling the car? Got it? We electronics guys, we do not for sale equipment so easy. We are collectors. Sorry, this will happen to all of us. Even when I tried to keep the, the small amount of equipment, I was a big collector too in the past. So I know, and you will watch on YouTube, there are guys with four, five oscilloscopes. The old ones, the new ones. They do not give any one of them away. What kind of people are for selling test equipment that is on the street, on the market? If it is broke, probably somebody will sell it for parts. There are companies that buy equipment by pallets. Test equipment from factories, from offices, designs, and stuff like that. But that kind of business is good because they will check the equipment, they will try to repair the equipment, and they will give it in good condition to you, and probably they will give guarantee. Equipment from the 80s, that for the old ones they know it, but the new ones they don't know, they were equipment that rate in the market, they last in the market for 15, 20 years after that, after the model was discontinued, probably it has more than 15 years and keeps running. The reason, it was a very good design and that makes the equipment to survive until nowadays. And the second, the amount of components it has, it let the equipment to be fixable. You can find the parts and replace them, probably through hot technology or uh, SMD technology, but you can find them in the market. So that kind of equipment, that kind of brands, you will find people for selling on eBay, but just to give an example, is a good kind of equipment to buy. I know and I understand it's hard to add all when we are trying to make the beginning and we are going to try to make equipment. To buy and use oscilloscope is a good advice. But sometimes it's better to buy an old analog oscilloscope that maybe you can fix uh, than a new one in the market. I mean, no new. Use one in the market from the new generation. Maybe there are more parts uh, fixable in the first one. I made a video about this uh, multimeter. and It's a very old model. It's many years in the market, and I know the product. I know the product inside. When I bought it, I bet some money that it will work, it will not work. So I choose one with very low price, risking that it will not work so I can fix it for a few coins. And I did it. So that's the kind of example of the used equipment you can get in the market. To get a used digital multimeter from the new generation that only have one chip inside, and if it burns, this trash, so it has no sign something like that. In that case, try to save money, buy the best equipment you can get, and you can be sure it will work, it will have guarantee, and you are safe with it. Or if you want to bet your money for used equipment, try to search for the equipment that has spent many years in the market, models that spent 15, 20 years in the market on sale, and 15, 20 years after that running until today. That's the kind of fixable thing you can get as used equipment. Thanks for watching the video. See you next time. Do not forget to subscribe.